Okay, I'm just going to start this video here, and hopefully everybody's having a good uh, day. I don't know if your kids have to stay home for quarantine or what have you, but or school's being cleaned. Um, but I just got the mail, and I wanted to show off a few things. Not everything. Can't show everything. Well, I can if I wanted to. I wanted to mention that I went to a thrift store locally the other day, and they had pictures four for a dollar um, old old antique ones and I just thought they were kinda neat and I picked a few that I liked and the, you know old pictures are not as worth as much as people think they are you know so don't overpay if you if you see some old antique photographs because everybody had their picture taken at some point so this one was just kinda cool this guy right here with the mustache and uh, there is a movie called De Do Detective Thinks with Lauren Hardy and the judge, Judge Foozle, looks almost exactly like this. That's not him because he was not uh, from Oregon, but still, that's a, a really cool old-time uh, Victorian or whatever photograph. Uh, it's out of Corvallis, Oregon. That's all I'll say about that one. There's no name on it as far as I can tell. Um, i got some other pictures, but I'll just keep everybody's uh, pictures kind of private for now. Um, this one is Pacific States here, and it's out of Washington State, but unfortunately... Whatever places was Cam something, not Cam Loops, it was Cam something, I'm not sure what it was, um, uh, K-A-M, and then, and then the, the, the generic cancel got all over it, so I'll have to look up the zip code if I can read that and figure out what that is. So there's another postcard for my collection. Then I got a return to, I mean a failure, and I can't really remember if it was out of this envelope or not, um, but I just recently sent Andre Agassi barely a week ago, and it's not signed, and it says, um, effective immediately, we are no longer able to accommodate the overwhelming amount of requests uh, to get for signed photos, tennis ball, books, etc. Therefore, I'm returning your item. Items, we appreciate your interest in Andre, and thank you for understanding best Agassi Graph Holdings. So if you guys have sent autographs to uh, sell on eBay, well, uh, then you deserve you deserve this. If you if you were honest and and, and uh, interested party like I was, because he was my favorite tennis player of all time, um, then you get hosed. So shame on you for selling his autograph on eBay after you just got it. And uh, at least I can use my. Just kidding. Okay. So um, and then we got a Chim Chimicum, Washington on some sort of random postcard. I just find out the random postcards work just as well as as a very well picked out postcards that uh, may look nicer or cost more money. So we just send whatever we can get and then hope for the best. Uh, then I got something that took a long time to get. Uh, this is uh, the Year of the Rat Orco Stamp Expo Station, January 11th, 2020, Fullerton, California. And you had like probably about a half of a month or a month after that date to uh, get this canceled. So there's that one there. This one's been gone quite a while. And then they gave me a bonus one. This postcard is so cheaply printed, it looks like you could actually um, counterfeit and forge that one. Um, just print more off yourself. There's no, no way of, um, that's kind of silly. But anyway, that's a forever postcard, whatever, so that's that one. And then the last but not least, I got this huge uh, near-miss of Apollo 11. All kinds of photographs, pictures, all kinds of stuff. Just absolutely amazing. Wow. I mean, just insane. Just insane. I haven't looked at it all. Um, all kinds of official uh, U.S. Navy photographs. I mean, just, I don't know what all this is. It's insane. And all kinds of... Neat stuff. I mean, a huge packet of everything. And and who is this from? Well, this is from... Oh my gosh, even more... Oh my gosh, I've got to send this dude a huge thank you. This is an original franked envelope from the day of Apollo 11 recovery. The USS Hornet, blah, blah, blah. Wow. And Larry Zetterberg has signed... I believe that was the envelope that I signed... I'm not sure if that was the envelope was sent, but there should have been another envelope in here. I thought, oh, here it was. This no, was this the one I? This was laying on the table. I don't think that was the one I sent. Anyway, there was. A, this is Larry Zetterberg. He was the uh, commander. Let's see. Hold on, hold on. I just had it here. That was. I just noticed. I'm just opening this up as as we speak. Uh, Larry Zetterberg was on the recovery mission for Apollo 11, and he was a local. Uh, uh, dude here, um, 
Okay, here we go. Lieutenant Zeke Zetterberg, Apollo Recovery Force. I can't read all of that there. 130. Com Relay Air Boss number two. Neat. This is really cool. I mean, really neat NASA history. That's uh, super amazing. He did not need to go and do all that. Uh, we had some miscommunication over the telephone. Um, and then I just wrote back and said I'm just an interested fan that I live locally and just a few miles down the road from, from where he, uh, uh, summer, I think he comes here for the summers or whatever. So look up uh, uh, Larry Zetterberg. You won't find a whole lot about him, but I think I had seen some sort of news article about him because of the uh, the 50th anniversary or whatever anniversary it was um, of that. So really awesome and amazing. Uh, that just blows me away. I've got to find a huge binder for all that stuff and preserve all that neat stuff that he sent me. Those photographs, i got to show you some of these. It says, Addressing the Officers, Enlisted Personnel, uh, Change of Command, Ceremony Naval. He wrote, oh my gosh, and he wrote a huge letter and everything. I just don't really know what to say. Just blown away. Really above and beyond. So, hope you enjoyed some of that. And like I said, I want to uh, show you a couple more pictures here. He's probably in this picture, maybe. And wow, look at all of, this is crazy. And here's a great story of some some stuff here. Oh, what is this here? Langhorn Open Space Incorporated. Wow, neat. Oh, this is all kinds of stuff here. So really cool things that and and here's a, here's an old decal. I mean, good grief. This is just insaneness. Insaneness. Wow. All kinds of stuff here. Articles and... Wow. Matt Wright. And then there he is. There is uh, there is Larry Zetterberg right there. That's a picture I saw on, on uh, the internet. Really cool. So I'm going to preserve that for my NASA binder. And thank you very much for watching. And hope everybody's alright. And... Uh, Bye. Uh, just a very quick update. I decided that this um, uh, packet of papers deserves its own binder. So I have gone through and put everything in pages. My letter, uh, the two envelopes, the one I sent him, there it is, and the one he sent me. And um, articles which I've kind of separated into segments here. I'm trying to get this as best as I could. And then I have uh, individually put these uh, decals and pictures with the descriptions that he had written on the back of every one of them. Um, on the back there in the article about him. And uh, Matt Wright, state representative of the 142nd District, may or may not have signed that. I don't know. Really interesting. And uh, some article about Langhorn Open Space, uh, uh, Heritage Farm. So that's kind of neat there. Interesting article there. And the original envelope. That he put the stuff in so uh, he gave me back my sace which is nice I could use that for somebody else so that's what I have for you and uh, just uh, uh, don't forget that you if you write to the right people you might get something really cool in the mail like this and thank you for watching